A steady influx of patients for the past 45 minutes. Remember that the first plane hit the first of the World Trade Center towers at 8.50, thereabouts Eastern Time. She was on the site for oh the World God. Trade Center bombing in 1993, and she says this is much worse, many more than dozens. Bloomberg's Mike McKee is uh, joining us now live. Look at this, look at this. Look at the World Trade Center, Dean. Oh, my God. The world, something else is happening. the world Trade Center, Dylan, when it was built, when it was designed, was built to withstand the impact of the largest commercial jetliner in use at the time of its construction. One World Trade Center has collapsed in its entirety. One World Trade Center is gone. There's a second explosion. One World Trade Center has collapsed. Two World Trade Center still standing, still billowing thick black smoke. Casualties will run into the tens of thousands, if not larger. Absolutely. And Absolutely. forget casualties. The, the death deaths. count. The death count. Let's call Let's it what call it is. Let's call it what it is. There. Tens of thousands of people are dead. There's been a terrorist attack on the U.S. on, on the United States that has destroyed the World Trade Center, that has bombed or flown an airplane, excuse me, into the Pentagon, has set a, a hotel proximal to the White House ablaze, has caused a complete evacuation of the White House, of the U.S. Capitol, and the least of our worries is the financial markets at this point. Absolutely. Do we, do we have Mike McKee on the line with us? No. We do not. We'll check in with Mike McKee when, when we can. This is clearly, far and away, the worst attack, terrorist attack on U.S. soil ever Absolutely. in the history of this country. Well, remember, it was the, the February of 93 was the first World Trade Center bombing. It pales in comparison to what we are seeing here. One of the two towers of the World Trade Center is gone, hit by aircraft just about an hour ago. A second explosion literally in the past five minutes apparently has precipitated the entire destruction of that tower. It's difficult. We, we, we would need to get a timeline, Dylan. As I mentioned before, remember that these planes presumably were carrying full loads of fuel. They were hijacked apparently shortly after takeoff. We presume they were carrying full loads of fuel. Still no response from the president. And, but this certainly does appear to be a second explosion. Logan, does, every, all the airports are closed. The U.S. Treasury is being evacuated. All air traffic has been suspended. The Pentagon is burning. The only response from the president is up to the... Are you ready, Donna? Donna? In the building right now, trying to get the news story that are obviously impacted by this, this collapse right now. I'm very concerned about all those people that have been outside the building as well as inside the building right now. U.S. planes are now being told to land at the pilot's discretion, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, which has also ordered all planes to remain grounded. Those that are on the ground are, are ordered to remain on the ground. Those planes in the air are now being told to land at the pilot's discretion. Tens of thousands dead. No question. We, Dylan, run us down for us again the, the, the breakdown okay. of, of the, the, the corporations. Uh, Morgan Stanley is the largest occupant by square footage. Twelve and a half percent of the building is Morgan Stanley's. It is actually Dean Witter, uh, which when they merged with Morgan Stanley obviously became that. The New York Society of Securities Analysts is in the building. Lehman Brothers has offices in the building. Um, almost anybody you could name has offices in the building. The largest bond trader on Wall Street, Cantor, or one of them, uh, has offices in the building. Customs, the, the number of the, uh, the commodity and metals and, and mercantile exchanges are in that building, I should say were. Dylan, I want to update Go. that a little bit. Go. 
Because a lot of the futures contracts have been closed down. Maybe some of what we're seeing on the screen isn't really showing what's happening. Namely, the NYMEX has closed down. Crude oil, Brent crude in London is up almost $3, 250 Even though our screen, the Bloomberg flashing terminal you see on your screen might not be showing it. Same thing with the gold market. The futures are closed, but the spot gold continues to surge as well in response to this. Now you can see it's up over 350 obviously. Um, we might just to bring you up to date, the futures contract, as I mentioned, only up about $6, but the index itself has been extremely volatile, the spot gold contract. Um, this obviously erupting many global fears beyond just here in the States and the concerns for these people uh, as to what type of retaliation the United States might have to take for something like this. Beginning at 845 Eastern Time, the United States uh, sustained what is now the worst terrorist attack in its history. A plane flew into the northern tower. Uh, of the World Trade Center. It was a, apparently a deliberate act and ultimately we came to know that it was a deliberate act. A second airplane flew into uh, the southern tower of the World Trade Center 18 minutes later. That was approximately 10 minutes after 9 a.m. Eastern Time. The trading, president... I, I beg your pardon, Dylan. Trading is, is uh, being halted throughout the country. Chicago Merck halting trading at uh, 9.15 Central Time, according to traders. The president, CBOE. <clears throat> the president spoke at 9.30 saying it was an apparent terrorist attack, the entirety of the resources of the U.S. government being devoted to this issue. This is the first time in history the Federal Aviation Administration has grounded all U.S. flights. And Dylan, I'm reminded the, the back tower, to the... T the tower collapse you're saying was not a third independent explosion, no. That, uh, according to some, but we... I'm reminded of that video, though, Dylan. We were watching the video, and it, it certainly did appear that there was another explosion, although we don't know the extent of the damage the building sustained. Clearly, it was massive from the the second plane being flown into the tower. Clearly, the, the internal damage, the structural damage was massive, but it did appear, it did appear that there was another explosion, did it not? I, Can it, you hear me? Yes. Uh, 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 yes, it, it did appear that that was the case. I suppose it, it, we could have been seeing the, the after effects of, of, uh, of floors collapsing upon themselves, but it, now we're, we're seeing, here we go. This is the shot. This is the collapse of the building. Dean, I'm going to step off for a minute. I'm going to let Paige sit down. All right. I'll be back in. A, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay. Get a breath. Come back. But clearly, here is what we're looking at, folks. The, the, once upon a time, what little more than an hour ago, we were looking at two towers at the tip of Manhattan, the World Trade Center. One is left standing, and the pictures you are seeing now are live pictures of the Pentagon. It, too, the target of a terrorist attack, a plane being flown into the Pentagon. There are now indications that perhaps a portion of the remaining tower at the World Trade Center has collapsed. The Sears Tower in Chicago is now being evacuated, we are told. We do not know if that is due to a direct threat or is, if it is simply a precaution. The New York Mercantile Exchange is closed after the plane crashes. Chicago as well. But we are now looking at the, the, the live pictures of the Pentagon after the attack by terrorists. A plane flown into the Pentagon. The first plane hit the first of the World, World Trade Center towers just before nine o'clock this morning eastern time it was eighteen minutes later that it was our, our deepest fears were confirmed when a second plane quite obviously was deliberately flown into the second tower that came at around nine oh eight this morning eastern time donna klein rejoins us now with more donna uh, Dean, you know, I'm just trying to update the global reaction. All of our markets are closed here in the States, but uh, European markets, the DAX index is down almost 9% on this news. We're looking at the uh, FTSE as well, off about 4.5% as well. They close at 11.30 Eastern time, but nonetheless, you can see the reaction is continuing to spill over, although we, our U.S. markets do not have a really a way to trade in the futures contracts or the cash market right now. Donna, we're now being told that the FBI headquarters in Washington, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, have now been evacuated. Clearly, the Pentagon is burning. We had seen earlier shots of the Hay Adams, what we were told at the time was the Hay Adams Hotel near the Treasury Department was burning. The Treasury has been evacuated. 
And the FAA has halted all airplane takeoffs in the United States, the first time that has ever happened. Planes that are currently in the air are being told to land at the pilot's discretion. There is what's left of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan after terrorists guided two commercial jetliners into the upper floors of those enormous twin towers, which are, as I mentioned earlier, the, seen the world over as symbols of American power and American capitalism. Paige Hopkins joins me now. Thanks a lot, Dean. And of course, uh, you and I both remember what it was like in 1993 working here and watching those explosions at the World Trade Center. What is interesting is that right now, of course, we don't have any confirmation if this indeed was a third bomb that went off that actually grounded that second tower or if it was just uh, the after effects of those initial bombs. Again, all flights have been halted. I want to paint a quick picture for you of what it's like here in New York right now. You cannot leave the city. All tunnels have been closed, all subways, which you realize is the lifeline for transportation in and out of Manhattan into all of the outlying boroughs have been halted. There is no transportation. Everything has come to a stop here in Manhattan. And of course, as Dean just reported moments ago, those FBI headquarters in Washington have been evacuated. All U.S. flights have been grounded. The FAA is asking pilots to land at their discretion. Dean, you said something. Trade Center was built and I believe at the time the largest aircraft in use at that time was the 737 and remember the initial explosion at the World Trade Center was a truck packed with explosives mm -hmm. that was detonated in the parking garage beneath the World Trade Center and immediately after that the access to the World Trade Center was was made next to impossible for anything other than a pedestrian and and uh, security has been has remained so since then and we also heard from kathleen zici she is a spokeswoman for the new york uh, downtown hospital that is the facility closest to the world trade center she says that they have been receiving a steady influx of patients for the last hour she was actually on site for the world trade center bombing in 93 she says this is much worse many more than dozens injured we do not know however we want to stress this the buildings had been evacuated before that second tower went down so we really do not have any death count at this point we can only hope that most everybody was safely evacuated remember though page that this we are talking about two enormous towers in the on the in the neighborhood of a hundred stories give or take and we are talking about an 18 minute time lapse between the time the first plane impacted the first of those towers and the evacuation presumably began within a couple of minutes and then within let's say 15 minutes the second plane impacted within 15 minutes of that evacuation beginning. It is impossible to know how many people were in those buildings at the time, but at 8.50 8 a.m. Eastern Time, those buildings were full. New York gets started much earlier than other parts of the country. Those buildings would have been full, and evacuations using either elevators or staircases would have been not nearly complete at the time of the second plane's impact. That's, that's absolutely true, but we should say that their evacuation process was updated after that crash in 93, uh, but you're absolutely right. That is really the shank of the morning in that building, so we really don't know. Again, uh, it's a stunning sight. I mean, you're, you're speechless watching this, seeing one tower remaining at the World Trade Center. That was a, a highlight on the New York skyline. You're looking right now at shots of the remaining tower. And remember that we, it was, I'm trying to keep the timeline straight, but it, I believe it was about eight minutes ago that we saw the total collapse of one of the two Trade Center towers. And again, we don't know if this was the work of an additional explosion or if it was simply the result of the, the initial impact from a, a plane presumably heavily laden with fuel and the enormous structural damage that would have resulted from that initial impact. It could mm -hmm. well have been mm -hmm. a second explosion. It could simply have been 
the building giving up under the enormity of the initial impact. And let's bring people up to date, Dean, on what is actually happening in Washington right now. The White House, of course, has been evacuated. The FBI has been evacuated. The Pentagon, uh, presumably at this point, of course, after we uh, heard of an explosion at the Pentagon and saw flames, has been evacuated. And we... We also uh, believed that a hotel had exploded. We, we don't know for sure. We haven't received confirmed reports if indeed it was the Hayes Adams. But I can tell you, having stayed at the Hayes Adams many times, it is very close to the White House. In fact, it actually looks over the White House. Their slogan is the only thing overlooked at the Hayes Adams is the White House. So very close proximity to the White House in any event. The White House, of course, having been evacuated. And there are now, Paige, I regret to tell you, reports of an explosion on Capitol Hill. So. We have already shown you the live pictures of the Pentagon on fire, and there are now reports of an explosion on Capitol Hill in addition to the smoke that was evident from the neighborhood surrounding the, the Hay Adams, which is, as you mentioned, overlooking the White House and near the, the, the Treasury. I believe it's directly across the street from the Treasury, isn't it? That, uh, it is. Also, the old, the old, the Blair House, actually, excuse me, Blair House stands to the right of the Hay Adams, and the old executive office buildings are also uh, just down about a half a block and across the street. Quite a stunning view, again, looking at that single tower of what was the World Trade Center, two buildings that were really highlights on the New York skyline, one having been leveled. And, of course, we have not heard from President Bush since earlier this morning when he he said that he had met with Governor with uh, Governor Pataki, or he had spoken rather, excuse me, with Governor Pataki, Vice President Cheney, and the FBI. We can only imagine that uh, right now many meetings are taking place at undisclosed locations. Paige, I'm being told by uh, our Washington bureau that there were two explosions on the Virginia side of the Washington Mall. So clearly, this is an orchestrated and continuing terrorist attack on the United States of America. It would not be... And certainly trying to attack the uh, biggest arteries of government and the financial center that really keep everything running here in the United States. We're also uh, seeing a report crossing Bloomberg Newswire that the uh, American Airlines Flight 11 was carrying as many as 250 people. Uh, that's one of the things we, we, we have to remember, that the, 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 the weapons used for this mass destruction, at least some of the weapons used for this mass destruction, were our own aircraft carrying our own people, presumably heavily laden with passengers, mm -hmm. which had just taken off from American airports. Mm -hmm. Those people were essentially riding the bomb that, that was delivered on both towers of the World Trade Center and we presume on the Pentagon. We do not know the source of the additional explosions at the Washington Mall. No, we don't. And again, as you said, uh, there are reports now that the Virginia side of the Washington Mall, for those of you not familiar with it, the mall is a uh, stretch of, of grass, a stretch of parkland, really, that stretches from the capital over to Virginia. And you were saying that the Virginia side, in fact, uh, has incurred some sort of explosion, but we haven't received confirmation of that. Paige, let me remind our viewers that the, the U.S. markets are not open, but the reaction has been swift and furious in Europe. Let's check in now with Edie Lush in our London Bureau for more on the European reaction to this terrorist attack on the United States of America. Edie? As you've said, this is a terrible human tragedy, and all of the reaction coming from Europe and all of the traders we have spoken to, of course, has been very, very worried about their colleagues, of course, in New York. Having said that, to see some of the reaction, you can see money flowing out of the dollar. Now, usually in these kind of situations, when we do see uh, worries about safe haven flows, we usually see money flowing into the dollar. However, because this is taking place in the United States, we're seeing exactly the opposite. You can see money has flown into the euro. 9029, the Swiss franc, a very typical safe haven. Of course, seeing a lot of money coming in, 166. So we did see, of course, the dollar falling very significantly there against the Swiss franc as well. We've also seen some reaction there coming in the pound, the pound gaining, falling back a little bit. As Donna has been mentioning, there's a lot of action there on the, in the Treasury market, although the volatility and, of course, the, the, the amount of people trading is very, very low. However, these Treasuries are traded around the world. We've spoken to some people who have putting a lot of money, especially into the short end of the curve, so especially into that three-month, into the two-year, uh, the, the two-year Treasury hitting another all-time 
all-time low in terms of the yield. Yield now down 24. As Don has been mentioning, however, we have seen, of course, very little volume. Uh, electronic markets not trading in New York. However, people are trading. Some of this trading is coming in Europe. Because of the amount, uh, because of the, the volatility and because of the low trades, we're seeing very, very strong reactions. In the oil market, significant happening, significant movement in Brent crude. Brent crude is up $3 a barrel, up to 30 45 uh, for Brent crude, of course, is we are not seeing any trading in the New York markets. The New York markets are closed, but the reaction is very, very strong in Brent crude. In terms of the, the equity markets here in on the European side, we are seeing the, the uh, FTSE 100 down 2.9%. We're seeing the CAC down 4.6%, and also the DAX in Germany down 6.86%. So there is a very significant reaction. Gold also up. Gold up $6.30, and the gold futures also up by that much as, uh, as well, $6.30. So very sig significant reaction, significant flowing into the safe haven currencies and commodities, and of course into those bonds. We've seen movement into the short end of the bunds and gilts. Those are the European bond markets, so into the UK and Germany bond markets as well. Back to you. Edie, thank you. Those are your market reactions thus far to the act of terrorism, the acts of terrorism on the United States. Crude oil is up the better part of 11 percent in immediate response to this. And as for the political response, it has been thus far muted, though the German government is now saying it is setting up a crisis panel after the attacks on the United States. We have yet to hear any official uh, the statements beyond the initial statement that we had from the President of the United States. But clearly, Washington, too, is under attack after New York was attacked just before 9 o'clock Eastern Time this morning with the World Trade Center towers. Donna Klein. Thanks very much, uh, Dean. Just could, could follow up with what Edie Lush was saying out of London. We're continuing. I'm continuing to get responses from people on the Bloomberg terminal. that are able to send us things immediately. These lines are still open. I've been looking for what types of trades are, are traders able to do. I say, what are you doing in the market? The Stavium Limited. They say absolutely nothing. Everything is shut. But without question, the curve is steepening and rallying big time. Is their quote uh, meaning? Money rushing into interest rate products is a safe haven, particularly at the short end of the curve, although we can't see it reflected in the Eurodollar futures which trade in Chicago or um, uh, here in some of the futures contracts that trade here as well. Uh, Edie was mentioning the dollar. Dollar index futures are, are, are shut here in the United States, but nonetheless, you can imagine the cash market uh, exploding. Uh, Swiss franc is certainly the, uh, the way to go. Page. Okay, Donna, thanks so much. We also want to let everybody know that that American Airlines Flight 11 that was from Boston bound for Los Angeles, that it was believed to have caused that first explosion in the tower, was carrying, uh, it is being reported right now, 250 passengers on that plane. Again, that was Flight 11, American Airlines from Boston to L.A., believed to be carrying 250 passengers. Page, uh, we are now being told that uh, the Justice Department is now being evacuated in Washington after the explosion at the Pentagon, apparent explosion outside uh, near, next to the Washington Mall. Our bureau in Washington reports uh, the sound of two explosions on the Virginia side of the Washington Mall. We also had uh, reports of of the the, uh, of the reports of the uh, Hay Adams being hit, or at the very least uh, being hit by fire. Uh, Bloomberg's Carol Masser was at the New York Stock Exchange at the time of the first explosion at the first of the World Trade Center towers. Carol is now on the line with us. Carol? Hi there, Dean. I have to say, just very, very upsetting. Um, right now we're at 30 broad, and we basically uh, were told to leave our broadcasting booth, and at this point everyone is being told to stay inside the exchange, um, not really letting anyone out because of so much uh, the smoke from the explosions. So they're wanting everyone to stay in at this point. Obviously, communication is very tough. Um, we are kind of going from booth to booth in order to find a phone to even dial out of the exchange at this point. Um, and understandably, you can expect that a lot of people very, very upset, people who knew folks that were in either of the uh, trade towers and where the explosions were, and uh, very, very upset as they're understanding uh, what's, what's going on here. Um, very, very upsetting scene at this point. And basically everyone is glued to their monitors and watching uh, various broadcast networks just to keep an update uh, in terms of what's going on here downtown and around the country at this point. Carol, you are not far as the crow flies from the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. Were you able to hear or feel any of the initial impact? Absolutely. 
literally every impact we heard, and that's, you could just see even the people on the floor kind of looking uh, around at themselves to figure out what was going on. It was that loud, and particularly when the uh, tower fell, uh, very, very startling, thinking, oh my God, another explosion, and then to find out ultimately what had happened um, was just staggering, uh, really, really a surprise. And obviously, as you can expect, there's been moments of chaos. Actually, the reason we came down here is we started to see an awful lot of people running, uh, rushing for the exits, and at that point, uh, the exchange came on, telling everyone to be very calm, uh, but bringing us from the lower, bringing us kind of to lower levels of the exchange, and basically asking us to stay here and wait, saying that it's basically the safest place at this point, and, <laughs> if and, you can imagine. And let us remind our viewers that this is not limited to New York. This is not limited to the World Trade Center, though at this point, the damage sustained at the World Trade Center does appear to be the most massive since we have lost one of the two towers of the World Trade Center. There, an aircraft was crashed into the Pentagon not an hour after the initial attack on the World Trade Center. Those, that plane appears, too, to have been a commercial aircraft. The White House has been evacuated. The Pentagon is in flames. The Justice Department is being evacuated. Dean, this is Paige. The State Department also is being evacuated, and the uh, FAA is asking that all international flights be diverted to Canada. All airports have been closed at this time. And again, you just heard Carol Massa reporting from the New York Stock Exchange moments ago saying that they have really battened down the hatches and have told people just to stay in place down there. That is the uh, safest place to be. I, I want you to take a look at your screen right now because you are looking at a picture of the Pentagon. It is uh, virtually in flames. You can just see the smoke billowing out. It is really obscuring what is a very familiar sight. We have uh, precautionary evacuations as well, Paige. Uh, we are hearing reports now that Rockefeller Plaza in Midtown Manhattan is being evacuated. We have the Sears Tower in Chicago being evacuated as we speak. Others are likely. That's right. We will. I'm sure we're going to he hear about many areas and landmarks here in New York City being evacuated. Brian Sullivan joins us now. Brian. Thank you. want to give you an update on what is happening overseas. I just got email, as Donna was saying. Email really one of the few ways to communicate here out of New York. Uh, trader, a friend of mine at Night Securities in London, which is housed in the old London Stock Exchange building, just confirmed to me that they are being evacuated as a precautionary measure in London. Let me give you an idea as to what the DAX has done. Obviously, here, a financial markets impact around the world. The German DAX index collapsed. It is down 9%. It had stabilized somewhat. Trading, as far as we know, is still open. However, again, night securities evacuating in London. They are a market maker, so one can presume that trading uh, has already slowed dramatically, may come to a halt. We need to keep an eye on that. I've talked to a few other traders via email, and they have also confirmed that there is nothing going on. All eyes are on the United States right now. But again, uh, European markets still open at this time. It is 3.30 in London, and some of the traders that I've talked to have said that they are, at least at night securities, being evacuated at this moment. So that gives you a pretty good indication that there are precautions being taken around the world and that some of the world financial market indexes uh, are obviously going to be put on hold here as this plays out. Just wanted to give you an update. Obviously, a horrible tragedy, uh, but there are world markets that are certainly being affected in a dramatic way by this terrorist action here in the United States. Dean, Page. And remember, Brian, that we have, uh, Page was uh, mentioning just a few moments ago that uh, flights that were already in the air, the, the pilots have been told to land at their discretion. We also have, of course, a, a large number of inbound yeah. international flights they are apparently going to be diverted to Canada. The FAA does not want any more flights coming into U.S. airspace. Those already in U.S. airspace are being uh, urged to land at the pilot's discretion. They may apparently continue on to their destination, but uh, it is up to the pilot at this point. And I have to remind you, the, 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 the drama you are seeing on the screen right now, it, it's... It's amazing. We're, we're looking at the remaining of two of the World Trade Center towers. Dean, Dean, it's Brian. Yes. It is mind-blowing, actually. I was in the World Trade Center buildings yesterday having lunch uh, with uh, somebody in the financial markets. And so just yesterday, walking through the tower, it is really, I think, if you've never been to New York, 
very difficult to describe just how big these buildings are, just how many people are not only in them but around them as well. It is a dramatic sight. Uh, the New York Stock Exchange we've heard about. Also, something else to note, the American Stock Exchange, we haven't gotten any reports from there, but the American Stock Exchange is actually physically closer in proximity to the World Trade Centers than the New York Stock Exchange, World uh, American Stock Exchange on Trinity Street, which is right around the corner from the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Mercantile Exchange, which of course has been evacuated, has also been the closed. Second tower, is the second tower has collapsed. It's Dylan, I'm back. The second tower just collapsed. Oh, Dylan. The second tower just collapsed. They've bombed the Pentagon. Uh, the, world, by all appearances, the World Trade Centers are no more. The, by all appearances, uh, this is maybe beyond an act of terrorism. This, uh, I, don't I don't think you don't want to use the word, but I don't think you would be uh, making a big leap there, Dylan. You don't want to use the word. Don't use the word. No, but it, it certainly has gone okay. beyond an act of terrorism at this point. Both of the World Trade Centers have collapsed. Ken, I don't know if we have available to, is, are we looking at, we are looking at what was once the World Trade Center, and let me remind you that the United States Pentagon is still burning. The Pentagon apparently also hit by a commercial aircraft. All, obviously all U.S. cabinet members are returning to Washington. That is the aftermath, that is what, that's the neighborhood of the World Trade Center in lower Manhattan. The second tower has collapsed from the, the incredible